Learn this simple text effect in just 5 minutes. It helped my reels to go viral and reach over a million views. And the thing is, it's pretty simple. So let's jump right into it. And by the way, you can download the footage that I use in the description for free, so you can follow along. Let's go. First, import your drone clip into After Effects and drag it on the new composition button. Next, let's go to Tracker. If you don't see it, just press Window and choose Tracker. Make sure your clip is highlighted and then click Track Camera. Go to the effect controls, click Advanced and choose Detailed Analysis. Then wait until tracking has finished. When finished, you should see these red tracking points. If you can't see them, make sure to activate Render Track Points. First, we need the Welcome To text behind this palm tree leaf. Try to find an area with a big red circle, like this one. Do right click and say Create Text and Camera. All we have to do is just to tweak it a little bit by clicking on the text and then moving it so that we can see it perfectly. But what we have to do first is to double click the text, write our text, then make sure that the text is centered and then again click on the text and try to center it as good as possible. Let's also change the color. Now we can see as the video starts to play the text stays in its position. But I want this text to be hidden behind the palm tree. That's pretty simple because we have two different colors blue and green. First, we need a duplication of our drone video by pressing command D. Now let's move it on top of welcome to the text is gone, but we just need an effect. It's called key light. You can take it and put it on your second drone video. Now let's choose the color picker and press on the blue. So you can see the blue is gone. We now have some weird colors, but that's pretty easy to fix. Just go to welcome to and select one as a mat, then invert this mat. By the way, if you can't see this menu, make sure to click on toggle switches modes. Now you can see the text is hidden behind the palm tree. We still need this cool text animation, but we'll do it in the end. Let's continue with the second text, which needs to be around here. So let's go back to our drone video on the bottom. Go to the camera tracker, and then we can see some points again. Unfortunately, After Effects didn't find good tracking points here. They are all very far away. So what we can do is just go back to our welcome text and duplicate it. Then let's move it down. Tweak it a little bit and with the blue line, let's move it further away. Make sure to remove the mat and change the text. This is Zulawesi. Now we have to try and see if the text position is good. The text still is too close, so let's move it further away and down. Yes, this looks better, but we have a problem. Can you see how the text flickers to the left, to the right? We can easily fix that. Just go to the camera tracker and press U. Let's go to the position where the flicker starts, around here. Zoom in. And then remove a couple keyframes to get a better overview and then remove even more of them. So, and that's how we easily get a clean result. We can delete even more. It's as easy as this. Perfect. Now we need the masking. We want Cindy to be in front of the text. That's pretty easy as well. Either we could use the key light again after duplicating our clip or we use rotoscoping, which is perfect for people. First, let's move Sulawesi to the top. Then duplicate our drone clip, Command D, and move it to the top, on top of Sulawesi. Now you can find the rotor brush tool, right here. Let's zoom in. Also make sure to change the resolution to full to get the best results. With the rotor brush tool, I can now double click on this video, make sure the upper video is selected, then go to Cindy and try to mask her. If your green button is too big, just press command and your mouse. So you can choose another size. Let's do it like this. When pressing option, we can remove something. All right, perfect. Let's press freeze. After Effects automatically tries to freeze the next frames now. The tracking is finished, you can press tab and go back to your composition. And now we just go to fit. So we see everything. And as you can see, Cindy is perfectly in front of our text. The last thing we need 
are some text animations. First, let's go to Welcome To. If the Welcome To text is gone, it's just because of the rotoscoping, which has to start a bit later around here. Yes. What I love about After Effects is we can just go to Animation Presets, Presets, Text and Animate In. And now we can choose one of these awesome presets, which look really good. We can, for example, choose fade up characters. I put it on welcome to, and now you can see the text is slowly faded in. For the Sulawesi text, just make sure to move your blue playhead to the start of the text. Let's start it around here. Click on Sulawesi. And then let's just make a random fade in or shuffle in to make it even crazier and put it on Sulawesi because the text animation starts exactly at the point of the blue tracker. That's it. If you want to change the length of the animation, just press U and you can see the keyframes. Just move them around. Here's a bonus trick to make your text animation look even more professional. To do this, you have to go to toggle switches until you see this icon and we have to activate it on both of our text layers. And you can clearly see how the text then gets this awesome motion blur and this looks so much better than without. Make sure to follow for more tutorials and if you like this video, leave a like. See you soon.